All right, follow up to the last video. So after I put all the, um, after I made that video, I went back to the car, got undressed, and I was concerned that, again, like I said, I was concerned that the point of this, the small box and the slow, yeah, so, yeah. hold on, baby. The slow release is that there's a, there's like a, a hole that's filled with candy and all the worker bees eat all the candy out um, slowly over time, over the over a few days, so that all the worker bees get, get used to the smell of the new queen and all of her pheromones. Um, you don't want to just dump the queen right into it because the bees aren't necessarily used to her quite yet, so they might just attack her and, and then so much for that queen. Um, so I went back to the car. I was concerned because I don't, I didn't want to buy a new queen and take the, you know, the kind of incubation period of buying a new queen. So I said I would just go back and take off everything, take out some frames out of the bottom um, brood box, see if the queen was still in that small box. It's like it's like this big, a small box like this. It only has the queen in it, and hopefully she didn't get out of that because then I'd have to look through all the. 7,000 bees to try to find her to put her back in the box. She does have a green dot ink dot that they put on the back of her So you could easily find her but still it's a lot of bees to kind of go through to find her so I went back and I took out the Took out everything off get got suited back up. Take out all the frames Picked up the big box and thankfully the queen was still in that box. She hadn't gotten out yet um, so I took out the queen or I took out the small box hold on sweetie I took out the small box stuffed the hole up with just a, a stick essentially um that way she can't get out and then the other worker bees can can um eat the candy away slowly over you know three or four days um and then she'll be released so much better feel much better about it uh put everything back together uh only got stung once in the arm so everything I think it went successfully I, I put up my trail cam right in front of the bee box to see hopefully nothing bothers it or blows over or something but um i think we're good uh so i think we'll be coming back again on saturday and at that point i will take out um i'll take out the frames to see if they started building stuff on it i'll see i'll check all the sugar water and the pollen to see if um you know they're eating properly hopefully they're not all dead hopefully i can find the queen um but yeah, so that's the first bee box. I have another one coming in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm finishing building out my own. I'm doing a different type of a bee box for the second one. It's called a top bar frame. I'm going to do both. So I'll have two different um, colonies to see which one takes better. The top bar one that I'm building from scratch, um, that one tends to produce more wax, which is good. So you can make it into like candles and chapstick and things like that. Uh, the one that I did today uh, produces more honey. So, uh, you know, we're going to test it out to see how it goes. Um, this is the river. It's pretty kind of cool. I'm with Joelle right now. She's kind of exploring over there, but, um, yeah. So that was that exciting. Let's see how it goes. All right. Peace.